All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon XD Part Two. Last episode, we finished up with uh, Pokemon HQ Lab. We got our professor stolen. Now we're going to this port. <coughs> we're gonna get this part. And we're gonna finish the Purify Chamber. Let's go. Let's go. Our little our little sister's coming along. Her name's Jovi. She's ready for adventure. Wow, big brother. Look, look. It's the sea. The sea. It's so big. It is big. It's very big. Listen, listen. The part shop is over there. Hurry, big brother. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> this way, this way. Uh-oh. Oh! Ouchies. Jovi fell down. Hey now, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry, Jovi is sorry. It wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done! Boy's mad. You've messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around. Oh, he's pissed. Ugh. Sorry, doesn't begin to cut it. Huh? Oh, sorry, huh? You there? Yeah, you punk. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? And it looks to me like you're a trainer. You look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin. I'll stop you flat with my shadow Pokemon. Meow. That's quite enough of that. <laughs> Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place and time. Shut it. Hey, meddling senior citizen. Take your preaching to someone who cares. Or do you want me to pound you as well? Uh, Mr. Virch, perhaps I should... Ha! And who do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Unfortunately, this guy's got an Alakazam, if I remember correctly. Yep. So you can say see you later to your little Zangoose. <laughs> Look at this big face. Your power. Where does it come from? It comes from being good. You've done it now. Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook. Remember this. I give chase? Oh no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back, leave him be. Yes sir. Let us be on our way. Uh, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what had to be done, nothing more. What a friendly old man, coming into the rescue like that. That old man is Mr. Virch, he's supposed to be really wealthy. People with him were really strong, too. Wow, were they ever cool. Sure, there are many hotheads around these parts, but picking on kids like you is going too far. But the guy that ran off, I don't remember seeing him around. Alright, now we're off to get to uh, the part that we need. After talking to the grandma. I feel so privileged. I got to see Mr. Virch again today, too. That cute face, his adorable build. Oh, I feel faint. He bedazzles me so. Yeah. <laughs> that luxury cruiser moored behind the park shop belongs to Mr. Virch. Luxury cruiser? This man's got money. Jovi? Is that you? Oh, Emily and Arky. Are Acri? Yes. Let's see here what we got going on. So it was you, Jovi, being harassed by that big strange man. Were you okay? Yep, strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother, Wario. I forgot I named myself Wario. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. 
I, uh, hi, Jovi's big brother. Uh, Jovi has been a very nice friend to my daughter, Emily. That elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Virch. Uh, he comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist. Whenever I come across anything mysterious, I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are lots of rough, rough customers about. Emily, we should be going. Okay, bye-bye, Jovi. Yep, see you, Emily. And they all pivot on... <laughs> Yikes, okay. Let's keep on keeping on here. When a ship leaves the harbor, they make the bridge rotate to open the way. The bridge is operated using a button on the middle. The rotating bridges appear to be out of commission, though. You won't be able to get across to the other side right now. There you go, this guy. The controls are unresponsive. Well, it's more like they're just not there. Not so much unresponsive. <laughs> the sea is wide and it's fathoms deep. So full of Pokemon, it'll make you weep. Huh? What's up, kid? Were you captiv captivated by my singing? I'll have you know I placed second at the Krabby Club's music contest. Yes, I was absolutely captivated. Aha! I bet you did. I bet you did indeed. You know how to bring a smile to my face. <laughs> oh, what a guy. What <laughs> wrong with singing? What about you, kiddo? The battle was awesome. Both sides had wicked Pokemon. It was wild. Uh-oh. I forgot what I'm supposed to get on my errand. Well, fortunately, I have not forgotten. This guy is very important, everybody. Hi, did you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go to Dr. Kamen. Uh, what was it now? Well, that doctor's manor is where he went. He said his grandson, Pierre, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges, so I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up a sail or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quite quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you'd like, how about you help me with a... Uh, help me while away some time. I've got a tale to tell, and you may find interesting. When I was younger, I sailed all the world's seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokemon. Of all the Pokemon in our world, the one that I found to be most interesting is Eevee. Uh-oh, shockingly, I have one. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon, you see. While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite ex exhaustively. <laughs> As a result, I obtained five items that are the keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you said you are interested in raising an Eevee. Uh, what a fortuitous coincidence. This must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate this occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. Alright. The sun shard or the moon shard. Okay. So typically I go with Vaporeon. Just because Vaporeon is a good pick. But this time around, we're going with Espeon. Because... Who doesn't want an Espeon, honestly? <laughs> that Sun Shard will make an Eevee evolve into the Pokemon Espeon, but it's not all that simple. First, you need to keep that Sun Shard with you at all the time. Don't put it away in the PC and don't throw it out. You also need to keep your Eevee with you. If your Eevee's friendliness is sufficiently high, it will evolve when it levels up. Remember, you have to have that Sun Shard with you and your Eevee uh, has to be friendly enough to you when it evolves or when it levels up for it to evolve. So would you like to have the Sun Shard? Absolutely. Fine. <laughs> Whoa. You can have the Sun Shard. Just like your Eevee, it's invaluable. And we've obtained the Sun Shard. You're so lucky, big brother. Jovi wants something too. Jovi can't have anything. Shopkeeper wasn't thinking straight when he got that clueless newbie to look after the shop. Now me, a regular customer, would be able to serve customers a lot better. Alright, well we have our next objective, and that is to go back to the stupid mansion, where we got uh, attacked the first time. And that's exactly what we're going to do. That is very unsafe, Jovi. I've been over this with you. You need to stop riding on my bike like that. If you get hurt, I'm not responsible. I am not responsible! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who goes there?
You must be another burglar. Jobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Jobin is the name, and Jobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminico. Jobin is still the only assistant, so Jobin has to be the number one assistant. Yeah, I know. Jovi, you could have said something. He's let you in before. This guy it just has a thing for like the worst Pokemon, doesn't he? Alright, so this is uh, the first real battle, I think, with Teddy Ursa. So you're gonna find out really fast that Teddy Ursa, or just Shadow Pokemon in, bro or in general, are pretty broken. Because they just get super effective moves all the time at the cost of their own HP. <laughs> that's a dead magic card. Right. There you go, Sunkern. Drive it in. So it didn't actually say anything about uh, Teddy Ursa getting any experience whatsoever, but uh, it does get experience, and whenever we purify it, whenever we get around to doing that, um, all the accumulated experience that it's gotten throughout every battle that it's been in will be awarded, and it will just go up exponentially in levels. <laughs> but until we purify it, it can't be leveled up. Oh, silly Chobin, what are you looking at? Huh? Oh, you're that boy from before. Jobin wishes you spoke up right away. Today, Jovi's very busy. Jovi has a very important job with Jovi's assistant, Big Brother. Is that so? But you being here in person now do have a... Wait, what? Being here in person now do have a look at Dr. Kaminiko's inventions. You may say something, anything, but Dr. Kaminiko's inventions are number one in the world, in the whole wide world. Jobin is full of admiration. You shouldn't be. Because they all suck, from what I'm aware. <laughs> I've looked at two, and they're all negative. <laughs> I believe this guy right here. Hello there, Wario was it? You've come calling with your young sister again. Wrong. Today we are going to get on port on a very important job. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Wario explained what had been happening to Mackin. What was that? The HQ Labs director was abducted. That's terrible. Their modus operandi. It feels similar to that incident five years ago. It may be Cypher. But one can't conclusively say that. Before we get to thinking, you need your machine part. It's waiting for you at my shop in Gaton Port. Have a word with my grandson, Pierre. He should know. Alright, back we go. <sighs> Good old fetch quests. Well, you may say anything, but Dr. Kaminiko's inventions are number one in the whole wide world. Oh, I don't know. What Jovi likes best is Chobin's go <laughs> googly glasses. Th these are strictly off limits. Chobin could not function without them. Extremely, absolutely not. Aw, oh, that's so boring. Rip Chobin. I guess he's just gonna stand there. What an assistant. What an assistant indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Alright, where are we off to here? We're off to... Not here. Because we gotta go receive Pierre. Here's over here. This is all he had to do, by the way. <laughs> he could have just done this at any point in time instead of just standing there looking like a really special person. Whew, that settles that. All fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the part shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part. Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's. Yeah. My grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing, he's off like a shot. Never mind, the shop is his gra or his grandson, me. I'll find that machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? No, actually. <laughs> Man, grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. Yeah, actually we will not be going directly to the shop, because now we have access to this funky stuff. This funky stuff gets us some more stuff. And I like stuff. As much as the next guy. <laughs> this is an island far from the coast of Gaton Port. Surrounded by vicious ocean currents, however, so no one can go near. Of course, everyone around these parts knows better than to go near that island in the first place. 
Suspicious Island? Huh. One more of these bad boys and we should be able to get to the other side. Just like so. What does this man have to say? I welcome youngster. No words need to be spoken, no questions need to be asked. We shall battle, yes? Yes. Ah, good answer. Battle with a feisty lad is one to be savored. Let's go. Alright, casual guy Kyle. Why do they spell the name so weird? <laughs> we got our trusty Eevee and Teddy Ursa. And what's this? It couldn't be the Lady Ba. Unfortunately, it is. <laughs> it's pretty rough. So we will be trying to catch every single Pokemon, unfortunately, for me. <laughs> because, um, it's pretty difficult, actually. So, as I was saying before, um, every move on the Shadow Pokemon will always be super effective against a Pokemon that isn't Shadow. However, if you use a Shadow move on a Pokemon that is Shadow, it won't be super effective. Meaning that we can throw this Pokeball, and if somehow this doesn't manage to catch it, we can actually damage it a little bit with a move that's definitely not going to kill. And this is gonna be great. <laughs> there we go. Even, even with a crit, it did like nothing. I am too afraid to actually <laughs> do anything else to this lady bot. Hopefully we can get a catch here. I have no intentions of actually using this lady bot. And it heard that and it really didn't like it. <laughs> Yeah, you keep attacking Teddy Ursa. Like, does this man know that he just... He just has a Shadow Pokemon? Like, I don't... Ew! That was a very nasty animation. <laughs> yep, just keep attacking Teddy Ursa. All right, we should be good to throw another ball at it now. And that's not good. Okay, so, more explanation. Uh, let me throw this ball. But um, Teddy Ursa right now is in fever mode. Uh, and it really doesn't like listening to us anymore. So now it has the chance to just hurt itself every time I try to do an attack. Um, it can do the attack, but uh, the probability, probability is pretty rare. Um, so if you actually just call the Pokemon, it'll get them out of fever mode. Or reverse mode, I think they call it in this game. Um, come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Thank you. Woo! Well, now we won't get to see it. But, um, yeah, if you call a Pokemon while they're in fever mode, uh, it'll actually get them out of it. And I don't think that's something you're supposed to know till later you talk to an NPC and it's like, hey, did you know that you can call? And they'll get it out. But uh, it's pretty handy because it also lowers their uh, purification bar down a lot. Hmm, too bad. I guess I lost that one. That machine you have on your arm, it's quite the getup. The way the lights pulse and all, it's mighty impressive, whatever it is. Not for a second there that you've taken my Pokemon. So he doesn't even realize that we just stole his lady bow. <laughs> and I am okay with that, I suppose. 
So we need more Pokeballs before we can even consider going up that tower, because there's a few more uh, Shadow Pokemon up there. And we definitely do not have the balls for that. <laughs> Sorry, we were out of machine part, you said, right? Here it is, here it is. This is it. Here you go. Wario obtained the machine part. The first quest item. It's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get the order in. How's your director, Professor Crane, doing? Wario explained what had been happening to Pierre. Ha. It's the HQ Labs director is abducted by some wounds with shadow Pokemon. I've been through something like that before, but who would have thought it'd happen again? I hope the lab director is found. I'll be rooting for you, so don't give up. Can we buy Pokeball, sir? Crap. <laughs> yeah, we definitely, uh, we definitely need Pokeballs. Striving for success as global engineers. Um, and with one, it's not, we're not gonna be able to do it. Because the thing is, if you don't catch a Shadow Pokemon, the process of getting that Pokemon again is so tedious. It is very tedious, and I don't want to have to do any of that for any reason. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oddish. I've decided to give up my life on the sea for life on dry land so I can raise this Oddish. One day I'll make it evolve into a Vile Plume, or a Belossum would be great too. Whichever one I choose, I'll need a special item for the evolution to happen. It's true. I recommend Vile Plume. Oh, what should I do? My son says he's going to quit being a sailor, and he's adamant about it. Ever since he got an Oddish a while back, it's consumed his life from morning to night. It's Oddish this, Oddish that. Sorry, mister. <laughs> we also need access to a Pokemon Center. But there should be a Mart right over here. So but Here's the Pokemon Center. Hello, and welcome to a Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Do you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I forgot that Lady Ball was already a part of this team. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. We've restored all your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Uh, we're lucky to have Pokemon Centers. I mean, it's free. It doesn't matter how many Pokemon you have. Pokemon Center restores them all for free. Isn't that great? Yeah, free healthcare. Oh, there's an old guy over here. I almost missed him. Pokemon need to rest. Nothing can, nothing can better the Pokemon Center. Why even seniors like me visit here to rest occasionally? Whoa, I almost missed this guy. <laughs> it's easy for anyone to use at every Pokemon Center. You're free to use it too. <laughs> Jovi's just kind of following us around. <laughs> Still, I became a trainer at this age, so I've, be I've been coming here daily to learn more about what training involves. But wow, I see that you're already raising Pokemon at your age. I consider that impressive. Alright, I'll do my best to keep up with you. I've been on dry land for so long now, losing the feel for life on the sea. I've assembled all my supplies and my Pokemon are restored to full health. But who knows when the next ship will sail. It's true. It's rough, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta get back on the sea, my guy. <laughs> you know already, dude, don't you? No. Is that right? Then I better tell you. You should know, though. Oh, I do know. Yes. <laughs> Building us the Pokemart. Yes. I'm sorry I talked to you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the Poke Shop. Where you buy stuff. Hey, I'm buying a whole lot here. How about throwing in a little bonus? How about it? Come on. Oh, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to my Pokemart. Mart. And, uh, what was I supposed to say? Oh, it doesn't matter. Finally become the owner of a Pokemon Mart. Oh no, what am I saying? I'm so sorry. Hello, welcome to Pokemon Mart. How may I serve you? You're gonna give me... Are you serious? <sighs> so we can't buy Pokeballs yet at all, it seems. For a poisoning, use an antidote. For a paralysis heal, cures uh, paralysis. 
and awakening wakes up sleeping Pokemon. Oh yes, if a Pokemon falls asleep in battle, you can rouse it by calling it, which makes awakenings in this game 100% useless. I've decided to retire from selling herbal medicine. It's become too hard for me to gather the ingredients you see. It's not an easy task working one's way through the tall grass, searching among rocks and so on. It's too physically taxing for me. Yeah, so as I was saying, awakening, completely useless. Uh, there hasn't been much for sailors lately. They've taken to uh, wh whiling their time away at the Krabby Club. They're all burly lunks, though. They're not the sort that a culture type like me can associate with. I wish those lunks would go back out to sea already. Yeah, we'll go deal with them later. But yeah, uh, calling your Pokemon when they're asleep will wake them up. So... <laughs> it, it, it uses a turn for that Pokemon. So the only way... Awakenings can be useful is um, on the the Pokemon that's not sleeping. Turn you can use an awakening for the Pokemon that's asleep, and then have them do a turn. But that's not it's not gonna matter at the end of the day. This game is really easy. <laughs> oh, Wario, could you just wait a second? I found some more memos I wrote up with the doc director. I think uh, you should have them. I don't want them. I don't. I don't want any of them. I don't want it. <laughs> we give you basic information about Shadow Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares about your stupid crane memos? If anybody actually wants me to read those and is actually watching this Let's Play, <laughs> then I'll consider it. But uh, until then, you can take your crane memo and shove it directly in your hind end. <laughs> Welcome back, Wario. Was Jovi well behaved? We ran the errand like you wanted, Mommy. A bad guy tried to stop us, but a nice person helped us. Oh no, really? I'll get the details later. What about the machine part? Wario handed the machine part to Lily. Thank you, but this component we can now get to the finishing touches of the purified chamber. I should take this down to the purified chamber on the ground floor now. Oh, Jovi will take it. Jovi, are you sure? Don't drop it. Jovi can do it. Good girl, Jovi. Wario, how is your shadow Pokemon doing? Purification progress progresses if a shadow Pokemon spends time together with his trainer. Has the heart gauge fallen to zero? No. <laughs> oh. But by the time the purified chamber is completed, the heart gauge should be down to zero. If the heart gauge has fallen to zero, that shadow Pokemon is ready to open its heart, but that alone isn't enough. To complete the process, the Pokemon needs to go through a purification ceremony. It's basically a ritual for it to return to its natural state. If the purified chamber were ready, it could go through the ceremony there, but it looks like we'll need a little more time to get it finished. Because of that, I think your shadow Pokemon should go through the purification ceremony using a different process. There's a village called Agate. In the village is the Relic Stone, which has the power to restore shadow Pokemon to their natural state. It worries me a lot to send you to such a far off place by yourself, dear, but I also think it's something that only you can do. Well, dear, will you go to Agate Village? Yes. Thank you. You know, Wario, I'm so proud of you. You're becoming more and more dependable. Uh, Agate is southwest or southeast from here, but it's not very close. Go see a man named Eugene there. The Relic Stone, which is used for the purification ceremony, is under the care of a man called Eugene. I will get in touch with him so he knows you're coming, Wario. I will do my best to get the purified chamber finished while you're gone. Please... Be careful, Wario. Yes. Wario. Wah wah. Wah 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 wah. Wario will indeed be very careful. I'm running out of time here, and I need Pokeballs. <laughs> Agate Village. Let's hope that they have Pokeballs here. For me to obtain. And this is Agate Village. We are directly met with a nice little Pokeball. That's great. But uh, not what I want, because I want Pokeballs. And I will be avoiding everybody <laughs> until I check this Mart and see if it has any Pokeballs. Mm -hmm. 
Where is the mart? Oh, it was up here, no? Yeah, I thought this was the mart right here. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Mart. How may I serve you? Pokeballs, 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 Pokeballs. What is wrong with you people? Jeez. Alright. Well, now we can begin talking to everybody. <laughs> this is Agate Village. We're famous for the Relic Stone. You can consider this a retirement village. Elderly trainers and Pokemon lead quiet lives here. There's a lot of funky hidden spots in this town. So, fortunately, I know where all of them are. Buskin. Uh-oh, there seems to be at least one Pokemon that hasn't opened its heart to you. Is that why you're here? Our village relic has the power to open up the hearts of Pokemon. Some time ago. Oh, I guess it would be five, or would it be years now? The relic was used to open the hearts of many Pokemon. It was five years ago. It was Pokemon Coliseum. Everybody knows. This notebook titled Torchuk's Growth Journal. <laughs> I'd like to read that. Today, Torchic ate food. It reached level 16. It's not a Torchic anymore. <laughs> Found a Super Potion. Found a Pokeball. We're gonna need more of those. Good God. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do you know who I am? I am the Teacher Lady. I know many kinds of moves. Are there any moves you wish your Pokemon knew? Ah, oh, yes. I'd like you to teach your Pokemon moves. Come see me. So basically, she just uh, teaches us your Pokemon egg moves and crap, or whatever. Or just moves that uh, that you could learn, but you don't have the TM for. She's actually pretty handy. Handy. We'll be going back to her quite a bit. I like the look of determination in your eyes. When trainers lock eyes with each other, there's only one thing to do. Battle! Yes. That gets my blood pumping. Wait, we're actually battling. Okay. <laughs> Old Man Clear. Old man Claire has an Oddish. Oh, can I catch that Oddish? I want a Vile Plume. Look at how nasty that Machop looks. <laughs> so Teddy Ursa is still in Bungus mode. So we're gonna bite this Oddish and we're gonna call the Teddy Ursa. And as you saw there, the gauge went down like significantly. So. It is actually pretty nice when we can get them in fever mode. Flinch, 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 flinch. I'm looking for this flinch. Yes! Easy. Now we just uh, flinch lock the Oddish. <laughs> and then uh, we get Teddy Ursa here to finish off this chop. Make him look really bad. Ooh, he's still alive. Alright, well this battle should be over next turn. So long as Teddy Ursa does not go back into fever mode. We didn't get the flinch that time, unfortunately. Alright, let's fight the Machop. Shadow Blitz the Oddish. Get these kids out of here. Out of my kitchen. Out of sight. And yes, I was aware it was not very effective, but I knew it was going to kill. <laughs> Oddish has fainted, and that is the match. Old man, clear. Claire, whatever the heck your name is. I bow to your skill. You suck. <laughs> A fine battle that was. Highly enjoyable indeed. Let's battle again sometime. No. No is what I say to that. I didn't talk to everybody in here. Out of sheer disappointment. <laughs> Have you heard the news? Someone abducted the director of research at a lab somewhere. Isn't that scary? It was finally becoming a peaceful... It was be finally becoming peaceful after Cypher disappeared, but now this happens. I want to buy these little gotcha things. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't matter how strong Pokemon are in a battle. If the trainer doesn't know how to use items properly, the battle could be lost. That's why I think it's important to buy a good mix of items that that are good for every conceivable situation. Yeah, like Pokeballs, but we can't buy those. Yes. Oh, you've come calling on Eugene. Or Eugen. 
I'm gonna keep calling him Eugene. <laughs> Eugene's house is right there, but he doesn't. But he went out earlier and hasn't returned. He went running off, shouting something about someone coming or not coming. I can't quite remember though. This is secret area number two, I suppose. It all depends. Like when I was a kid, I didn't know about these spots, and then I'm, I got older, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I heard this child calling for me, so I came running to see what the matter was. Well, I found something quite nice. I know. We should have a battle, and if you can beat me, I'll happily give you what I found. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Oh yes, fine answer. Matron Bellish would like to battle. And she has a Puchiana and an Encada. So, this person is dead. We're going to tackle Puchiana. Shadow Blitz and Nankata. This should honestly just kill the Nankata. Nankata is a very weak Pokemon. I wouldn't be surprised if it just died. Ooh, it's living. Look at that. Leech Life. Ooh, not as broken yet, my friend. Not broken yet. I like how it freezes. And it's just like, its entire model just freezes. <laughs> it's like, oh. It's like rough times. How much time I got left here? I got like five minutes. I've got a little bit of time here. Maybe we can finish off this village. I make it quick. Well, there's another battle I know I have to do, so... Great. Reverse mode, they call it in this game. It's interesting. Ah, most impressive indeed. Give me the item. Look at that big waterfall in the back there. Here you are, then, just as I promised. Here's your prize. TM09. I do not remember what TM09 is. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Let's find out. What is TM09? Bullet Seed. I'm not giving that to Ladybug. I don't even know if Ladybug can learn that. Boot up TM. Contain Bullet Seed. Would you like to see each Bullet Seed? Yes. Nobody can learn that. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't planning on using it right now. Anyways. What's going on in here? The daycare lady retired, but not to worry her... <laughs> Her granddaughter was supposed to take over the daycare business. She went uh, to bring the new girl here. Well, till then, that daycare is useless. This guy and his tailor probably wants a battle. Oh no, he gives me berries. Do you see this? My tailor brings me berries from somewhere every day. Here, I'll show you one. Or share one with you. A rust berry. That cures fire. Or burn. If you'd like, feel free to visit every so often. I'll share berries with you if Taylor brings me some. Taylor, Taylor. Taylor is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, what's going on down here? Oh my my, it's quite rare to see a child visitor in our village, huh? Aren't I a kid too? I may be young in body, but old in heart. Yeah, I get that feeling. <laughs> We've got an ether. That'll be useful for end game. Here's this girl's low tad. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> oh, you're here to see Eugene. I saw him tearing through the village in a huge rush a little earlier. Maybe Bellu would know where he went. Bell Bella? Bellua? Bellu? Why? <laughs> what are these names? <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a lot of corners here that don't look like corners. <laughs> the villagers are all retired now, but they were all outstanding trainers in their younger days. That's why I came here. I want to learn the ins and outs of battling from the people here. My older brother trained here before, and he became very skilled. I hate losing to him. But when it gets right down to it, the more you battle, the tougher you become. So how about we battle? Not right now. Oh, that's no fun. I'll come back. I promise. What is this guy? My dream is to become the Pokemon Champion one of these days, then after I retire, I'm going to live here. To make that dream come true, I've got to become a lot tougher. Being a lot tougher makes 
battles, blah 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 blah. Give me a bit. <laughs> Jeez, I don't remember if I went in here. The door's not open. So I'm gonna say I did not. This guy's got a Wobbuffet. But it's true. There really was a Whale Lord flying high up in the sky. Huh? Your, clace, your face clearly shows disbelief. <laughs> you must think that an old uh, senile... An old senile lore? Senile lore? What the heck? I'm tripping. My dad's getting on an age, becoming more and more forgetful. Lately he's been saying nonsense. I saw a whale lord flying up in the sky. When he started spouting that, it depressed me to no end. Jeez. Well, he's not wrong. He's probably talking about the uh, the ship. But it is unfortunately no, not a whale lord. Probably big, big enough to be a whale lord. But not a whale lord. You guys should see whale lord in this freaking game. He's so big. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get one. Um, but I'm gonna have to call it there. Uh, there's a couple people I need to battle still. But we'll be doing that next time. Um, it's kind of unfortunate I wasn't able to get Pokeballs this episode because I wanted to finish up in uh, Gaton Port. But whenever we get Pokeballs, that's when we'll be able to figure this, or finish that up. So thanks for watching, and um, hope to see you guys in the next video where we uh, battle the scrubs here, finish this place off, and go purify that Teddy Urso, right? Yeah! Alright, have a good one, guys.